Hey guys, it's Shonda the Rat, and for today's Forging Friday video, I'm going to be going over the foraging wheel. So this is a pretty popular foraging toy. Uh, if you have rats and you have foraging toys, this is probably one of the ones you have because I've seen a lot of people with it. So these are really awesome foraging toys and some of my favorites because they're just really simple to use. Uh, they're also simple to fill, simple to clean. Just great foraging toys all around. And the basic way that these work is that you put treats inside and there are little compartments and then you have two little holes and when the rat wants to get to something they have to push the holes around and then use their little hands to reach for the treat inside. Now you can see the holes on the smaller foraging wheel here are a little bit bigger and because of that the rats can kind of stick their nose through as well. But the holes on this wheel over here are a little bit smaller so they really have to use their hands a little bit more. Uh, honestly, I usually feed normal food this way and I don't have treats in these, but because I want the rats to kind of show them off for this video, I decided to put some treats in as well. But yeah, you can put a few treats in there with some normal food if you want to encourage them to really dig through it. Uh, you can just do normal food as a way to kind of just encourage them to work for their food and also not hoard all of it. Uh, Bean here is very good at hoarding, but thankfully when it's in a foraging toy, she usually doesn't hoard it as much. And you can also increase the difficulty by putting in some crinkled paper or tissues. Uh, I've done this as well, but I don't currently have any in there. But yeah, they're just really great toys and they're great for any level of foraging. So if your rats are beginners, you can just put a lot of treats at the bottom especially and they will kind of figure it out. And then put some at the top as well, of course, so that they can learn to just move it around. And then as they get a little bit better at it, you might use it for normal food or you might fill it with some crinkled paper or tissues or so forth like I was talking about before and just make it a little bit more hard. And as for cleaning and such, like I said, that's very easy. Uh, you can actually unscrew them. This little thing right here can be taken off or, well, unscrewed so that the plastic part here comes off so you can fill it or you can clean it or whatever. And the same can be done with the other one. Now the main difference between these two foraging wheels here is that, well, first of all, one's a lot more expensive than the other. Uh, this one right here is the more expensive one. However, essentially in terms of functions, they work exactly the same. So, <laughs> oh, they're being little nuggets. But anyways, like I said, they work exactly the same. So you can get either one and they will work perfectly fine. But the main difference between these is, and I wanna show it off to you. As you can see here, they attach differently. The big one attaches with this one piece in the middle. It just screws on. So that's super easy to take off. And in fact, it has this little piece over here that you can just clip off if you want to, uh, if you don't want to remove the mount from the cage and just remove the wheel. Personally, I've never used that, but I find that being able to just screw it on with one thing is a lot easier than other methods of attaching it. And this one here is the one I have more problems attaching. It has two little pieces, uh, two little holes uh, in the plastic that are attached to it. And then you use a washer and a wing nut to attach it to the cage. So a little bit more difficult, especially if you're trying to do this without anyone else. Uh, that's the main difference with attaching it. And it's not a really big thing, but when I'm trying to move stuff around, it is a little bit annoying to move the blue one around. The other thing you'll see is that the blue one has larger holes. That doesn't really affect it too much, other than the fact that this one will be a little bit harder for rats because they really have to use their paws more. Whereas with this one, they can often use their nose a little bit more because it's just wider. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about when it comes to these wheels. Uh, they're just really fun things to have, and they're probably one of my preferred foraging toys. Uh, both of them are a lot of fun for the rats, and I definitely recommend this sort of foraging toy if you're looking to get your rats some sort of foraging toys. And I also want to say that I've actually made a DIY version of this, so if you're curious about that, you can check it out in the description. I will leave a link to that. Other than that, I don't really have too much else to say about them, other than they're just really fun toys. And the rats have kind of deserted me, so I might end up putting a different clip here, just so it doesn't look like I'm just talking to the back of the cage, <laughs> because everyone else is gone. So yeah, I will see you guys later, and I hope you have a good day. Bye!